They're not going to think to turn the lights on. Sometimes. Many times it's been so dark I couldn't read. I just say, you know, do we have a lamp or a light that we can turn on so I can see her read? That happens, okay? Um, yes, ma'am. I was
for the reason that I started teaching larger groups and my little bitty chart wasn't doing much good for a group of 20. Right. So I'm trying to get a larger chart so that I can see it. Um, some of you high tech guys, you can uh, you can uh, get the disc and, and teach it from your laptop if you want to. And then you can just skip through the pages. You can sit, actually set that up to use only the pages you want to use. Right. If that answers your question. But these charts can be ordered from Pentecostal Publishing House or you guys can probably get together. And all the lessons are down there. And my wife has taken those lessons for us and basically put them in those clear uh, leaflets. And you have lesson one, you put it in the front and the back and the front. And we just put all the lessons in the clear leaflets. We just keep flipping our notes and, you know, we highlight the scriptures that we want to use, you know, primarily. And remember that to be the same with that one hour that is so key. So key. Because I have taught Bible studies that were two hours long. <laughs> you know, I mean, we get to talk to it. It's just he, that's learning, the, learning the art of leaving them wanting yes. more. Yes. Get in and get out. And they can't wait for you to come back. But if you overstay, they're going to cancel on you. They're going to postpone on you because they're going to be tired of it. Um, these lessons. Now, for one thing, you don't have to have a chart to teach Bible study. Don't think you have to have a chart. I can teach the same thing without just me, you, and Bible. That's all you really have to have. The chart is just, really, I like to use the chart for review. If you notice, most of my lessons, probably this tabernacle lesson, I've used the chart more than any other. Right. But other than that, um, and that's just because the picture really gives you a better idea of what's going on. Okay. But um, mostly I'm just from the Bible and I use the chart to review. Um, now these I have made up. Really, I want these to be a study tool. Now they are they are out. They are they are not a detailed outline. They're just a simple outline, and they're really meant to go along with the CD. But you can listen to the CD and refer. You know, after you listen to it a few times, you can look at this uh, this outline and really make a lot of sense. But really, what I want you to do is take the outline and use it as a study tool and get your Bible. And if you notice the verse of Scripture, Isaiah 43. Circle Isaiah 43. You know, that's the verse you're going to go to to start this lesson out. And then beside Isaiah 43, find Malachi 3 and 1. And beside Malachi 3 and 1, find Luke 3, 2 through 3. Draw a bracket through verse 2 to 3. And then you're going to stop there. And the scripture begins to jog your memory of what you're going to say right there. And you just draw your brackets. Where are you going to start? Where are you going to stop? In your Bible. Make the notes in your Bible. That's really what I want you to do. I really want you to go in with your Bible and teach from it. I really don't want you to go in with this and be glued to this. Because if you if you do the right study and you pray over this, and you get it in here. The anointing of God can flow through that. Amen. Right. If you just try to teach it from here, it's going to end up being boring. All right. You've got to get it in here. Yeah. If you get it in here, the anointing of God is going to flow through this. That is why those tapes are so... If you, listen, if you were to listen to these CDs, you'll notice many times through these lessons, the Holy Ghost moving, you'll be able to notice where it moves and people, people break down in tears. During these Bible studies, the Word of God is piercing into their heart. It is a bit different than how we're doing it right here because you guys are accustomed to the Word of God. You get, you're, you're just spoiled and used to it. <laughs> but they've never heard this before. They've never had the Word of God become so alive in their life. And, and the Spirit of God is piercing into their heart and their soul. And tears begin to flow. Many times in these lessons, you'll see where the Holy Ghost moves. And tears begin to flow in these lessons. Um, so, the, less, the, the, the CDs are meant to go along with the outlines as a tool. 